what are the what are your thoughts on the metaverse as uh, as a whole and as an investment mm -hmm. since one of uh, your companies is is uh, investing in it and it will probably be or is expecting it to be uh, a flow of income so let's start with the metaverse which is obviously um you know facebook which is one of our uh, investments recently na renamed itself to meta and um um, you know, the metaverse is a big focus for them. Um, um, so it, it reminds me a lot. So one of the, um, in the, in the late nineties, one of the things maybe people don't know is I was a telecoms analyst, um, uh, very pleasant, uh, period of my life, uh, when I was living in Frankfurt and, um, in the late nineties, there was this incredible boom with, with mobile phones. Um, you know, mobile phone penetration went from almost nothing to you know, effectively you know, over, over 100% over time. And then around about the time, around the turn of the millennium, um, the, uh, there was sort of all of a sudden this talk that you know, it looked like sort of mobile phone penetration. It was getting close to 100%, so obviously it couldn't really grow any further. But then this new excitement started about the mobile internet. You know, the first 3G, you know, there were these UMTS licenses were sold, and um, there was a lot of optimism that you know, people would be using the internet with, with their phones. And it was, a, it was a fascinating period because there was a debate um, at the time whether anybody needed the mobile internet. And closely connected to that debate was what is the app that people are going to use, you know, or is there an app that people are going to use? So, you know, me and everybody else were trying to figure out, you know, what is the app going to be that, or is there even going to be an app? Um, and, you know, fast forward to 20 years today, and it's not like there's one app, there's millions of, of apps, and there's, you know, tens, if not hundreds of incredibly important ones. So, you know, the, the sort of the forecast back then was, you know, is there going to even be one? And, of course, what it turned out was there, there were millions. Um, so, which is a long way of saying, I think that's a good way to think about the metaverse. It feels like we're where we were in the late 90s, and we're sort of trying to figure out, is there, is there even a use for this stuff? Is it, is it going to be something? Um, my, my strong guess is um, it will be a thing, um, but it will be a thing in ways which we can't really know uh, about today. Um, but it will be interesting to see how that, that plays out over time. And um, I don't, did you want me to talk about Facebook as well and their investments in that area, or, or was it really just related to the metaverse? What, what were your thoughts on, on, uh, on Meta as an investment? I think yeah. it's a kind of future investment. Yeah, so, so Facebook or Meta is a, an incredibly profitable company. They have um, about 50 billion, 50 billion of, uh, of operating income. And included in, in that 50 billion is, uh, is about 10 billion in um, um, uh, of investment of losses effectively into, into the metaverse. And um, you know, the background of that is uh, for all its strength as a company, one of the things Facebook suffers from is that the operating systems are controlled by two other companies, you know, Apple and Google, and um, for mobile phones. And so I think they, um, you know, so they don't want to miss out on whatever the next platform is, and so they're going to invest uh, in that. Um, um, I personally think it's too early to be spending as much money as they are on it. I mean, 10 billion is, is a lot of money. I mean, that's, if that was revenue, that would be one of the largest companies in the world, and that's, that's just cost. Um, at a time when you don't really know what the metaverse is going to look like, I, th I think it's too much. Um, but on the other hand, um, you know, Facebook has a value of a, as a company of around 600 billion, and it's run by a great entrepreneur uh, who's very rational. Um, if in three or four years' time um, it's nothing, then it will be 40 billion of, of losses, um, which will then go away. So a meaningful number, but not really in the context of Facebook. And if it is something big, then, you know, fortunately, they have invested it in the forefront. So I view it as, um, as an option, um, as an investor. If, if the Facebook valuation was, was super high and it needed the metaverse to work to make sense of the investment, I would for sure not own the company. But uh, the, the share price is so unbelievably low. The valuation is so unbelievably cheap. It just doesn't really move the needle in that respect. Uh, I mean, it's... Um, it's, it's really incredible. I mean, um, if you take away the, the cash on its balance sheet, Meta is close to about a $500 billion um, uh, market cap. 
and if you add back the um, the losses that they're making in, into the, into the metaverse, it's um, it's close to 50 billion in net income. You know, so you're paying a 10 times earnings for um, you know for you know, one of the all-time great companies, and and then people you know and then people talk about tech companies not being attractive because interest rates are going up. Well, <laughs> so, uh, doesn't doesn't make sense to me. But, um, but we'll see how it how it turns out.